Okay, here we are. Let's move on. I, did you get, you guys saw the achievement, right? I clicked on that. Yeah, it was 30 in one blow, which I've never gotten before. Wasn't even trying to go for it. I was just like, let's try to get as many as I can, and I got it. And that was it. Kane's Law Satchel, which I don't think has anything in it. Yeah, just gold. Yeah, we, we've been seeing a lot of Kane's Law Satchels, and there was nothing in them. So I, I didn't have high expectations of this one. And that is this place fully explored. I'm going to meet you at the entrance after running all the way back here. Okay, that is one of the dungeons down. We still need to find the Cave of the Betrayer. That's why I always keep the objectives open. It makes things a lot easier for me to sort things out. Still not enough. There we go, just enough now. Try, I want to keep that up at all times. Uh, it, does, it does get rather difficult to remember that, I know, but... Well, at least it is for me try to keep that up at all times. They don't have like a little thing to remind you. All these skulls, they are going to have the trade in them. But I could, you can see I can easily take them out. Almost as quick as they spawn. <sighs> uh, mysterious jar. What the hell are these? Look, just over there. I never imagined such a creature. Nope, nope, nope. Just died. Oh, I hit that one by accident, it looks like. And right, Jailer's gone. Doom Dervish. Not difficult. I thought this was going to be an event or something. We got a Wraith over here. Oh, what else is we've seen? A Wraith. Uh, here we go. Pazuzu! Pazuzu! Well nice, and I got a level up for that. I will take it. What do we got this time? Earthquake Rune. Whirlwind rune, rune, Dust Devils. I think I like that one. And a passive skill unlocked as well. Miserable wretches. I have no time for your excuses. Haldian is on the brink of rebellion, and the enemy is closing in on the archives of Zoltan Korn. Slaughter him, and bring me the Mad Wizard's head and the Black Soul Stone. Or I shall inflict incomprehensible agony upon the lot of you! So, Belial is also looking for the Black Soul Stone as well. And Zoltan Cool, who can tell us apparently the secrets of it. Uh, although we do know that it can hold multiple uh, prime evils. That uh, has the power of multiple prime evils and angels inside of it. And that sounds very, very good. As well as him. He wanted to be a part of that as well. So, whirlwind, whirlwind. This is our first uh, rune for it. So, of course, we're going to put it on. Secondary tornadoes fall in your wake and damage enemies they cross. So, little ones, along with the big one that I'll be using. Uh, then we have an earthquake rune before we've even gotten to the next one. So, of course, I'm going to be using this. The ground shakes as you move, leaving fire in your wake. That also sounds very nice. Uh, but, once again, that's not my favorite one. We still don't have one for this. 26? What am I? Like 24? Not good enough. Not good enough. Bloodthirst. 3% uh, of all damage done at life. Oh, God, I love this one. So we're going to do it instead of Inspire or Berserker Rage. Nerves of Steel. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Bloodthirst is awesome, though. I love Bloodthirst. Once again, never going to have to heal again. Uh... If you do want, there is an achievement. Uh, if you use inspiring presence and then shout, um, that will that do will give you, you know an achievement. What these bones are? Long ago, even before my time, great beasts roamed these lands, but death called them here, one by one, until none were left. My mother told me not to join the mage's army. I should have listened. In the morning, they're sending the infantry against the Vigeri. I don't know how we're supposed to survive. Maybe we're not. It's so beautiful here. What? Maybe if I hid in the trees, they wouldn't notice I was gone. Where the hell are you? Because you're not here. There are no trees here, dude. Nice. <laughs> that makes it easy. Traveler's pouch. In thousands of years of records, 
I cannot find a single account of a prisoner surviving exile to the desolate sands. The wastes are littered with bones that have been picked dry by the endlessly circling bloodhawks or desperate lacuni. Those who die there meet their end without the sanctity of the light. Yeah, this place is not a hospitable place. So whatever happened to the other guy that was like, oh, I'm in the trees, not here, he's not. So to continue a little bit of what I was talking about, I have uh, probably spread myself way too thin in terms of what I'm trying to do. Not only am I reading books, I'm in the middle of um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy right now. Well, technically, the four I, I, I've finished three of the five books and I need to start the fourth. It's, uh, I just finished Restaurant at the End of the Universe, and it's, uh, time to start. Oh, crap, what is it? Goodbye and thanks for all the fish? Something like that. I, I you know, I, I, I glanced at it. I didn't memorize the title. It's something like that. It's something that the dolphin say, you know? Uh, but those are all in the Hitchhikers, uh, well, it's all the same book for me, but... That's all in that universe. I'm, I'm working on reading that. When I finish that, I don't know where I'm going to go. Um, I have a few books on my list. There's always a list. <laughs> and then uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also keeping up with YouTube. Not only uploading, but I also you know, keep up with the, the people that uh, I'm subscribed to. I don't have many subscriptions compared to some other people. I've seen some people with like three... 400 subscriptions, and I assume that they're just, like, sub for subbers. <laughs> uh, but I know people that try legitimately to keep up with over 100 subscriptions, and I honestly don't know how you can do that. Uh, I, I think I have around 20, somewhere around there. Um, most of which post every day. Not all of them do, though. And I, I struggle at times. I do. There are some videos that I end up having to skip uh, because they're not necessarily a game that I, that I would like to watch or, you know, something along those lines from a Let's Player that I only enjoy doing games I know or, so, you know, something along those lines. So if I'm that guy for you, I, I, I can't say I blame you. I understand. You know, you only want to see me do Blizzard games or Bethesda games, something like that. I, I get that. I get it. Uh... While I'm doing all that, I'm also trying to watch anime. Uh, like I said, I'm in the middle of the bleach. Well, not really the middle, but I'm watching it. I'm like part 40 or so. Uh, the way that I do it, I watch it all the way through. Um, I, I did watch Naruto all the way through. That was time consuming. It took me a while, but you know, I made it all the way through. I didn't start Shippuden, so I, I couldn't tell you anything about that. But I did watch the original series. I Missed out on that a lot. And then, uh, like I said, then TV, I told you, Deep Space Nine, and uh, movies. I'm actually doing James Bond for whatever reason. To be honest, I'm in the middle of Roger Moore and I'm questioning why I'm doing this. <laughs> but I haven't seen most of the James Bond movies, so I figured I'd go back and watch them. But, mm, some of them aren't so good. <laughs> uh, but, and then on top of that, I'm also crazily uh, starting to read comic books because I was that was always one part that uh, I never got into comic books, part of nerd culture that I never got into for whatever reason. So I'm going back and, and, and you know trying to make up for my nerd sins, I guess you could say. And it, it takes some time. So that's literally everything that I'm doing. I would tell you what. Uh, well, oh, I should probably tell you what what uh, comic books I'm reading. I'm reading Golden Age comic books, actually, because I tried to read the, the New 52, which is the relaunch, and I was lost. <laughs> like, literally, uh, I, I tried reading the New Action 52 comics, which, of course, is uh, Superman, uh, Superman's relaunch. Uh, I was told it was a relaunch, but then, you know, like, issue number three or four they start introducing people I've never heard of and I'll, I'll say that I'm a Superman fan but I'm not the biggest Superman fan I'm you know like I said I'm, I'm just now trying to get into the comic books who the hell are the anti Superman army like this is this is news to me what oh shit this is how's this up there is this a new area or is this gonna be an event 
I'm hoping a vent, actually. This portal has made many rich, but it killed my brother Garrett when he used it. I'm too frightened to risk my life trying again. Use it if you dare. I will. Lindo's journal. Who the hell's Lindo? We have found the key to the ancient device, but I fear that these treasures will cost us our lives. At least my brother and I have made it this far, and we are still alive. Dare we use this machine? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use it. I don't know what the hell's going on? Why not? What's in it? Where does this lead me? To an urn. I thought it was gonna lead me to a portal. An urn that I can then destroy. Was I not supposed to destroy the urn? <laughs> I, I just tried to click on it. Not my fault it got destroyed. Did I miss something? I feel like I've done this wrong. And that, like, I shouldn't leave until I actually get it right. I thought they said it was going to be portal. There was no portal here. Maybe you have to kill these guys and then, like, a big guy shows up. That's not happening either. No, seriously, what the hell? N nothing? I guess I'll just go then. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything These here. Lacuni are not evil, only frightened. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, whatever that was, I probably screwed that up. I, or maybe that was it, and it's not really an event. But to have all those people just dead around it, and then it just be an urn for me to break. Well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So, Golden Age comic books. Uh, after reading. The new 52 and getting completely and utterly lost and them not even bothering trying to introduce this anti-Superman army who travels through time apparently and this uh, futuristic people of people that I've never heard of I remember a lightning man oh shit big guy and then planet girl it was either Jupiter or Saturn but I can't remember which one so one of the planet girls uh, she she was in like these people that were trying to help Superman, and I'm just sitting here going, "What the hell's going on?" So that's where we need to go. Uh, looks like it's going to go around in a big circle here. So let's go ahead and fully explore the rest of this, and then we'll head down there. So I had no idea who these people were, what was going on, and the comics weren't really trying to explain it to me at all. I was just apparently supposed to know, so I don't know what kind of relaunch that is. Uh, so I decided I'll just wa read it from the beginning because I'm just that crazy. Uh, so <laughs> I started reading Superman and expanded it out, so now I'm just pretty much reading Golden Age comic books so I can tell you all about the original Justice Society. I made it to, uh, I'm in 1945. So I guess if there's anything you wanted to know about Golden Age comic books, I, I guess I'm your guy. Um, yeah, they, they were pretty bad. Uh, some of them. Some of them were pretty bad. You know, Superman and Batman were awesome. Captain America was good until the war started. <laughs> uh, Flash and Green Lantern are okay. Wonder Woman's so, you know, decent. Justice Society makes me laugh, though. There, there are some bad superheroes in that one. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk back about bad about comic books because I, you know, I'm just getting into them. Of course, it's hard to relate to the '40s at times, uh, but some of them just, ooh, bad writing, bad writing. But. I, I am going to go through those, and then, you know, when we get to the 60s, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might have to start picking and, and choosing superheroes here and there to follow and not follow, because there might just be too many. But in the 40s, the, you know, there there's not that many. There is There was an explosion, and reading the, the later end of World War II comic books, of course, I... I it's kind of like playing games from 1983. You can see the crash coming and you can tell the reason. It's just a whole bunch of the same stuff and it's not necessarily high quality stuff anymore. Honestly, the biggest surprise to me when it comes to reading these Golden Age comic books is really the lack of supervillains. I was... I, I figured even back then, you know, Superman's 
biggest foe would be Lex Luthor, and he's just always against Lex Luthor. Every comic, nope. About, I'd say about 70 to 80 percent of them, depending on the superhero, of course, have no super villain. They're just fighting crime, flat out, just crime and corruption. And that's really surprising to me. So, yes, I have spread myself very, very thin. I, I, I consider myself a consumer of all media. Who calls me an Omni nerd? Probably fits. And we are almost done here fully exploring the desolate sl sands. It has been quite an expansive area. But that, that tends to happen in Diablo games, or at least Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, if you want to fully explore it. Of course, there was a little of that in Diablo 1. A little of, you know, tedium, I guess you could say, and it, it, it does start to get a little tedious, especially when I'm just spamming the same button over and over. But that would not happen on uh, the higher difficulties. You would have to cycle through your, your stats. It, well, not your stats, your skills, in order to, to kill a, a group of enemies like that. But in this difficulty, you know, pretty, pretty basic, just... The one attack will get you through it if you build properly, and I have built properly. As you can see, I don't even need to heal anymore, because of course we're, we are getting, I think, four point something percent of our life back, which each with each attack. So there you go. Nice. The Zakarum scholar Brass wrote that the desolate sands were created after a mage clan battle sent out explosive energies that devastated the entire area. But he doesn't account for the enormous skeletons. No one has ever identified them. Were they a lost trace of giant beasts? Demons? Mythical dragons? We may never know. Nobody ever tries to explain it, I guess. Uh, dinosaurs is obvious parallel, I would think. Here is the Cave of the Betrayer, level one. So there's going to be multiple levels, of course. Oh, I forgot to mention. Also, while I'm at work, I also look at... Some of my blood is within that cave. I can feel it. Good to know. Is that what the arrow's been telling me all this time? Do you have anything new to say? No, we got one of them? No. Of course not. While I'm at work, I also... Hall of Silence really? lays heavily here. I believe with this soul stone, I will finally be able to unlock the true power of man. In ancient times, our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the soul stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength of my ancestors. Yes, we survived the egg sacks. Good to know. See, now that's interesting. The, the strength of my ancestors possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. Uh, it's not really implied whether or not that means, like, compared to the angels and the demons, I guess I, I should say. What that means. Because Deckard Cain kind of implied that they weren't as powerful as the angels and demons. And I guess that... Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. As we keep going. Uh, what was I talking Oh, yes. While I'm working, on top of all this other stuff that I'm doing, uh, while I'm working, I also have um, recorded college lectures on my phone. <laughs> if you have an iPhone, it's called iTunes U. If you have time, feel free to check it out. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. You get, uh, get actual college lectures about whatever subjects that you want. And since I'm playing Xenosaga, I decided, you know, it's probably about time that I look into quantum physics. <laughs> since that is brought up a few times in the game. And that, I literally know little to nothing of it. Uh, unfortunately, it did say that I would need to know linear algebra. So now I'm looking into linear algebra first before I move on. Nothing that difficult, though, from what I've seen. Or at least stuff that I already pretty much new. I, I never took the class, though. Linear algebra. My pack is full. Oh! Pack is full already? Not really. Did pick up a few bad things. So, I would recommend it. Some of them are videos, some of them are just audio. For math, of course, you will probably need video. So, 
just constant stream of information into my head, apparently. That is, that is how I like it. Always learning. Always learning. Didn't mean to do the whirlwind. Oh, well. Oh, well. But, that, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm up to. Outside of that, you know. Outside of that. <laughs> As if that's not enough. On top of working and all that kind of stuff. 